Yeah. Oh. Yo, 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 yo. Oh. Alpha, beta, here we go. conducting an experiment to determine the refractive index of a triangular glass prism. This is a likely examination question, so pay close attention to the steps and calculations. Let's get started. You have been provided with a drawing board. Drawing sheets. Thumb pins. Optical pins. Triangular glass prism. Another necessary apparatus. You need your own pencil, ruler, and a protractor for this experiment. Trace the outline of the triangular glass prism. Remove the prism, draw a line such that it makes an angle I is equal to 25 degrees with one side of the prism as shown in this diagram. So we make a point here and we are going to use this diagram as a guide to perform the experiment. We put the protractor on the outline such that this line falls on the outline and we measure i is equal to 25 degrees from this direction and we draw a straight line passing through the point of incidence and that point Replace the prism carefully on its outline. Fix two pins at A and B as shown in the diagram above. So we are going to fix two pins on the incident ray. On the adjacent side of the prism, arrange two pins at C and E so that the four pins appear to be in a straight line when viewed through the prism. So we are going to view through the prism from this side and make sure these two pins are in a straight line and we put two other pins in that line. So we want these two pins to be in a straight line. Then we put two other pins in that line.
So the pins in the glass and the pins outside are all in a straight line. Remove the prism and the pins. Mark the positions of the pins. So we have A here, B here. C and E. We are going to join AB and EC and produce the lines to intersect. So we join EC to meet the outline and produce it to intersect with line AB. So we have angle D here. Measure and record the angle of deviation D and record the angle R. So we put the protractor on the diagram such that this point falls on the intersection and this line falls on line EC. And we now we have I here, angle I, which is 25 degrees. And we put the protractor on the diagram. We want this point to fall on the intersection of the two lines. And this line on EC, we measure from this direction and we have 40 degrees. Repeat the procedure for the values of I is equal to 30 degrees, 35 degrees, 45 degrees, 50 degrees, and 60 degrees. And obtain the corresponding angles of deviation D for each value of I. So we are going to repeat the procedure with an angle of 30 degrees and measure the deviation. Repeat the procedure again with an angle I is equal to 35 degrees on another diagram, record the deviation, repeat it for 45 degrees, 50 degrees, and 60 degrees, and tabulate the results. Tabulate your readings. So we have a table of the results here. Plot a graph with G. On the vertical axis and I on the horizontal axis. We draw the vertical and horizontal axis. We are plotting D on the vertical axis and I on the horizontal axis. We choose a scale we are going to choose a scale of two centimeters is to two degrees on D axis. Looking at the values of D, we can start from 34, add two, we have 36 and keep on adding two. And looking at the values of I, we can start from 20. Choose a scale of two centimeters 
is to 5 degrees on i axis so the next value will be 25 30 35 and so on for the first point we have 40 on d axis this is 40 and 25 on i axis so 40 and 25 will meet here the next point we have 39 on d axis this is 38 and this is 40 so 39 will be in the middle of 38 and 40 and we have 30 on i axis so they will meet here the next one we have 38 on d axis this is 38 and 35 on i axis meeting here the next one 37 will be between 36 and 38 the middle will be 37 and we have 45 on i axis so they will meet here the next one we have 39 on the axis 39 will be between 38 and 40 39 will be in the middle of 38 and 40 and we have 50 on i axis so they will meet here the next one we have 48 on d axis and 60 on i axis they will meet here so we draw a smooth curve to join the points from your graph determine the minimum value d of the angle of deviation so we draw a line here touching the base of the graph and we determine the minimum value of d that is between 36 and 38 the middle of 36 and 38 is 37 degrees so d is equal to 37 degrees evaluate mu is equal to 2 sine d plus 60 degrees divided by 2 so we have mu is equal to 2 sine d plus 60 degrees divided by 2 but d is 37 degrees so we replace it and 37 degrees plus 60 degrees divided by 2 will give us 48.5 degrees and 2 sine 48.5 degrees is 1.4979 to 4 decimal places so mu is equal to 1.4 five zero to two decimal places yeah oh yo 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 oh alpha beta here we go learn with ease and let it show step by step we like the way success is just a click away Learn